In this short Max ECU video, we're going to show you how to set up power management in a drag racing application. So as you can see here, we are already in the tab called power management and we've turned on the speed based active power management. And what that means is, is uh, the ECU will try to control wheel speed uh, as a target over time. So here is our parameter time after launch and that is just when the clutch is released or the trans brake is released the timer starts and then we have our um, I'm going to copy this row so you can see it change we have our speed values and what so the max ECU data logs the wheel speed value at a thousand Hertz that's just the default of how fast it logs that channel um, and in this data log, this is our normal data logging window, as you can see here, and I have it um, copied. It's always on top. Max ECU has a feature where we can always keep the data logger on top. So when I click here and I'm actually working in the map, the data logger stays there. To access that feature, you can just click this feature in the data log, right click on the data log and select keep window on top. And that way the data logger won't disappear on you when you click inside your map. All right, so back to setting up power management. So what I do is I will click at the very beginning of the run, and you can see here the data logger, we've entered the time slip. So we can see it says launch, there's our 60 foot time, there's our 330 time, and there's our eighth mile time. So I'm gonna click um, just after launch, and I'm gonna hold down the shift key and left click. Then I'm gonna hold down the shift key and left click at the end of the run. And that's going to highlight our data log green. Once that op once it's green, we then have a new option called selection. If we right click inside that green area, then we can import this as a baseline for our power management. And as you can see, it has changed now. So you don't have to manually go in and enter every single value. Uh, a really nice feature of the Max ECU as well is you can actually click on the axis that corresponds to this row. And you can see a 2D, a 2D version of what this looks like. That's what it looks like in the graphical view inside the ECU. So now that we have that done, of course we would always want to go faster if we could. That's the object of racing, correct? So what I like to do is highlight this. And I like to right click. And I give myself, you know three to five miles an hour more than what that run was for two reasons. I want the bike to go faster or the car to go faster on the next run if possible, if my tuning changes made an improvement without the track, the power management touching anything. I don't want it to pull timing or cause a, you know, a, uh, a limit situation. So that's the first thing I do. And the second reason I do it is to give the strategy a little room to work. Some, a little tire slips. Okay. So, now that we've done that, I will clear the selection so that green is gone, and I will also turn off that now so when I click in here, it'll disappear, and we can see all of our, our ECU parameters. So you can see we have two variables we can use to manage the power now. We have a cut, which will cut ignition, and we have a ignition retard. So basically what this means is this is our target. Anything above that target, and it's going to activate this table, both of these tables. So speed deviation simply means what is the difference between what we've asked it to do and where it's actually at. That number is a positive number. So this means 4.7 miles an hour above this red line is all that means. So if that ever happens, how much timing do you want to pull? Well, you can simply just put in a number, 5 degrees. And you can put in 10 degrees here. Okay. So uh, that's cut. I'm sorry. That's our cut table. Meaning 100% cut means the engine shuts off. So this would be 10% cut. So it's barely even audible. But it's a good way to stop the engine. Uh, and stop the engine's momentum. Here's our retard table. So as you can see, it's already populated with some values. So... If it goes 1.9 miles an hour over this target, it's going to pull three degrees. And you can see the progression of that as it goes 
as the wheel speed deviation gets more and more severe, of course, you can change these numbers to be whatever you want. Max ECU doesn't limit you to any X and Y axis number or variable. Okay. Another really neat trick you can do with power management is this, this speed deviation channel can be used on any axis in the Max ECU. And you may ask yourself, why is that important to me? Well, instead of cutting the engine and causing a violent incident to occur, meaning I don't want a rev limiter to happen while I'm at 100% nitrous and all the fuel is happening and my rider is going really fast. So what I've done is I've set up a speed deviation table for nitrous control. So if the wheel speed gets five miles an hour over my target, I'm not going to be at 100% nitrous anymore. I'm going to be at 85. If I get to 12.5 miles an hour over my target, I'm only going to be at 72% nitrous. So I'm using that deviation channel to also control the quantity of nitrous going in the motor. That is the fastest way, sometimes it's the fastest way, to, to control power to get the tire back under control.